There you are. Right, you won't forget you've got to put Beth's bookcase up today. No. So when are you going to do it this morning? Probably, yeah. Right, and when you finish, can you have a hoover around our room? It's not been cleaned for ages. Right, and can you put this washing in the machine and get it dried? Because I've got nothing to wear for my shift at the restaurant tonight. Can I have my breakfast first, please? Well, that, um, washing one ironing. Actually, there is a top I could do with ironing. This one. Anything else need doing? Well, you are at home all day. Mmm. I will never complain about going out to work ever again. You should count yourself lucky. Most women work and do housework. You off? Yeah. Only nine hours since I clocked off. Ooh, won't last forever. Mm. I love you too. Mm. See you in a bit. Don't forget the washing. Well, I'm supposed to help Bill plan the refit for this place. So where is he? Out on another job. Well, he'll know where to find you, won't he? Yeah, actually I could do with a drink after the morning hour. Oh, oh lunchtime drinking, then end a wedge that. Oh, get away with you, it's the only pleasure <laughs> I get these days. Now, you're going to be here for the next half hour, aren't you, because I'm expecting a deliverer. Sure. I wouldn't be going out for a drink, but I uh, don't want to go home. Why not? Just walked in on David and Jason. David was saying things. So? What do you mean? Saying about the damage he's had done to him, you know, mentally. Clammed up when I walked in. Oh, for goodness sake. Almost didn't sound like David. Maybe he can say things to Jason that he can't to us. And what home truths we'll have to face up to as a result. Actually, um, do you mind if I take my break now? Well, you said you'd mind the show. Yeah, um, but I have to nip to the precinct. Yeah, well, somebody's got to wait in for this delivery. I mean, you know, I've got Mrs Sunderland at 1.30. Please. No, Sarah, you will have to wait in. I mean, can you not do this shopping some other time? I suppose, yeah. Anyway, I'll get me cold. You needn't worry about Jason, you know. No? No. Hanging up your washing like a little professional. Don't believe it. It's bone dry. Shouldn't you be at work in 20 minutes? When's Jason going to put my bookcase up? You mean he hasn't done it yet? No, it's still in the box. <sighs> one lasagna and one seafood pasta. Table for one, sir. I've come to see Sarah, that's all right. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. I don't like my staff to be distracted while they're on duty, you know. What are you doing here? Well, I've not seen very much of you, so I thought I'd come here. And I'm sick of being on my own all the time. Aww. Tell you what, why don't you go and sit down? We're not that busy. Do you mind? No, of course not. I'll go and get you a drink. Cheers, Lee. So, what have you been doing all day? What? Well, you haven't done Beth's bookcase when I popped in to change. I've had a nightmare day. Right, well, did you do it before you came here? No, because I had to go and... Oh, right. But you had time to talk to David all morning. Who told you that? Your mum? And you didn't iron that top, I asked you to. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. There we go. Cheers. And they'll uh, just leave the building for you. Thank you. Let's go on then, what have you been doing? Uh, to wrap you round his little finger, more like. Look, you, I nearly walked away because I knew you'd be hacked off. But he opened up like he never had before. I had to give him a chance. Right, so you can talk to him all morning. You can fix a tap in the cafe, but you can't put Beth's bookcase up. Well, it was an emergency, all right. Then why didn't he call for an emergency plumber? Who? Roy. He wasn't there. It was Becky. Becky? Yeah, she was there on her own. Oh, poor little Becky. Did Jason feel sorry for her? Well, that must have been very cosy, just the two of you. Well, and Dorian, about six million other people, and I spent most of the afternoon looking for spare parts. Well, it's nice to know where your priorities are. The place could have flooded. Look, you, I will build you a bookcase, all right? It's not the end of the world if it's a day late. Well, why couldn't you do it tonight instead of coming here? Because I'm worn out and I want to spend time with you. So what did you do after you fixed her tap? Went home, had something to eat, came here. Starting to wish I hadn't. <laughs> 